Kartra? Is it a funnel builder? Is it a website builder? Is it a business builder? What is it exactly? In this video, I'm gonna help you understand if Kartra can be everything you need it to be for your entire business website. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into it. Now, before we get into the actual kind of showing and telling here, let me explain to you what I mean when I say a website builder versus a funnel builder. So let's take an example, look at what a business website is, at least in the working definition we're gonna use here in this video. So I've pulled up some website demos that you can get as part of your Astra Pro, um, which is a WordPress theme, Astra theme uh, within WordPress. So when they give you website starter sites, like templates that you can pull in and have an entire business website done for you, this is kind of what you're gonna get. You're gonna get, uh, first of all, beautiful design. Like they, they've done a great job at designing uh, their work here. So what you get here is kind of a standardized header across the top, a logo, some, uh, some links, maybe a call to action button. And as you flip around to different pages, that menu is going to stay static and it's gonna stay in sync across every page of your website, right? That's kind of why it's this holistic thing. We'll get into funnels in a second. Let me just walk through this example of a website here. Then you'll have your content, you know, your, your calls to actions, your blurbs, your different bits and bobs, whatever you need, some fun stuff here. And then towards the bottom, you're probably going to have a footer and maybe even a sidebar if the website was designed a long time ago, um, maybe a sidebar or something like that. So your footer is gonna probably include another logo, some social media icons, some other information if you're a business, et cetera, et cetera. This can go on for a while, um, but that's kind of what, what we like to call in the industry a brochure website would consist of. Consistent branding, several pages, normally that home, about, maybe services if that fits your business, a contact, and probably a call to action for what the next steps are that that business generally wants people to take when they first land on their site. Okay, so that's what we're going to say is a website here. So now, can Kartra do that? If we go to incomemesh.com slash Kartra, it'll open up Kartra's sales page or their landing page, and it'll kind of show you what's going on here. You've got checkouts, the ability to do upsells and downsells. You've got pages, you've got lead capturing, you've got funnels and campaigns, mail, membership, videos, help desks, cart calendars, forms, affiliates, agency, et cetera, et cetera. It doesn't say anything about actually building a website here. And the reason for that is because it's kind of a new feature. And I think they just spent so much time building this entire massive page. They haven't gotten around to updating it yet. So in this video, I want to show you how you can start to resemble the functionality, the design, things like this page here. We'll kind of use as a website example and show you how you can build a website with Kartra with a few limitations you can know going in. And by the end of this video, you'll understand the pros, you'll understand the cons and the limitations of using Kartra for your entire business website building process. All right. So let's just go ahead and walk through it and you'll understand as we go. So to start out here, I'm in my Kartra account. I'm going to go to add a new page. And here you can kind of have fun and start with something, but I'm going to start with a blank canvas because I want you to see kind of the full experience. We'll launch the builder and we're going to call this um, example home one, just to make it awesome. And then we'll also create a new category, uh, which let's just call this YouTube site builder. All right, I'll add this category. Categories are helpful because it allows you to just keep all your work together and quickly filter because if you're like me and you build a lot of websites for uh, yourself, for side businesses, for clients, et cetera, um, it can get a little overwhelming without that central category feature. Now here is something that is relatively new. And if you've been on my channel and if you've seen previous tutorials I've done on Kartra, the site functionality may not have been there. Um, it's not new anymore. We're here in January, almost February 2020. Uh, this feature has been around for a while. I just haven't really covered it that much in detail. So what I'm going to do here is create a new website, a new site, and I'll show you what that means in just a moment. So here, let's call this uh, red coaching site, <laughs> just to give us something to go with here. Uh, and you can see I have other sites in here as well. I'll hit done. And now I will select that one that I just selected. Okay. Selected, all good to go. You'll see down below, once you've selected a site, you can have the option to import all the global elements from that site. Don't You don't know what that means yet, so don't worry, we're gonna cover that in a second, but once we've done the first page, it'll all make sense on the pages going forward, okay? So we'll go ahead and create this page, and let's just do like a very, you know, 
it's not going to be pretty because I'm not going to like spend the time doing the design. I want you to understand if Kartra is the right platform for you. If uh, let's say you've done nine rounds with WordPress and just didn't work out. Uh, I feel you. I understand. Um, so we'll walk through some examples here uh, on this video. So now here we are on the example home. So as we mentioned, we can use headers and footers to start to bring some cohesion together with our site design. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on the sections area here to the left and they call headers navigation menus in Kartra. So we'll just go over here, select navigation menu. Let's find one that looks kind of pretty. doesn't really matter here. Let's go ahead and pick this guy, drag him here. Great. I can change my logo. I'll do that just so you get an idea of the editing experience. Let's come here. Let's find a logo. This is a client I was working with not long ago. I'm sure they would appreciate some additional press. <laughs> and let's just make this a little bit smaller. Beautiful. All right. Love it. You can do all the changes you'd like. I've got plenty of videos actually showing messing around with the page builder itself. I'll skip over that to save you some time today, though. Now, what else works in that global site layout a footer we want to make sure the footer looks the same across the board so let's find one that's kind of similar here uh, this version over here has a logo some social media some important links and maybe some address information uh, i think we'll be able to find something that looks very similar to that let's just try this guy that looks very similar to me all right almost carbon copy so let's go ahead and just keep this on brand a little bit put a white logo in on that one apply it and it's got your uh, information, your social media. Like this is almost a carbon copy. It does, it works for me. I'll, I'll keep it. So now we have our header, we have our footer. Other things that might be global across an entire website would be something like maybe a pop up window. So let's go ahead and create one ex uh, exit intent pop up that happens when people try to leave your website. So we'll come over here to pop up windows. We'll create an exit pop up. Let's activate it. And now we can decide on every visit or on first visit. Let's do every visit. I don't recommend that, but for the sake of this example, I want you to see it working on every page. And let's just drag one guy in here. You don't need to worry about integrating your own autoresponder. All that is totally taken care of because you're using Kartra, which is kind of the whole point here. Um, and so this is going to be a placeholder for that form. Okay. Uh, that'll work for us for now. Let's go ahead and hit done on the pop-up. We have our pop-up. Now let's add in some content that is going to be specific to this page itself. So what we've done up until this far, if you're in kind of like the WordPress land, this is more like building out your theme. It's building out your header, building out your footer, the stuff that's global that might be called a template. It's, it's things that are used interchangeably and dynamically across the majority of your website. Now let's get into what's more commonly called like your page content, the stuff that is unique to the page itself. I'll just use some of their blocks built in. It makes things a little bit easier. Let's start with a hero section. I'm just going to find something that looks kind of similar. I'm sure they have something that'll kind of work for this. So let's find some text, a button and a dude. <laughs> so let's come over here, find uh, that one could work. I don't think it's that pretty. Uh, let's see here. All right, here we go. So we'll take Peter kind. Uh, we'll just drag his spot right there. And that could be our header. Again, if, if you want to make it uh, detailed, you can come in here, edit. I'm not a big fan of that background image. It's like this weird uh, thing there. So I'm going to unselect it, apply it. And now it's more of a flat white. I appreciate that more just personally. So we have our header section. Let's go ahead and add down here, kind of like a feature section here. So we'll take this guy and now let's bounce over to a features section. And let's just scroll what they give us here. Um, this looks very similar. I'll take this blue. I think it's prettier. Let's drag this down here. Cool. So we have a header, um, some features here, etc. You know, one thing, if you're using the section builder, like where you're dragging in individual sections, something you might find yourself frustrated with is how sometimes the styling within Kartra isn't quite right. So for example, this has a cool kind of a script as the, the text here, and then it goes to a bit more of a um, you know, standardized type of font, easier to read font. Uh, with Kartra, you can come in and do things like so, where you can say the font family. Let's say you want to use a good old fashioned Roboto as your standardized font family. I'm going to select that and hit apply. And what you might have noticed is everything kind of 
flipped over to Roboto, even that text there. So um, there is a bit more editing time put into building a page in Kartra if you want to get the design like pixel perfect versus using something like an Elementor or a Thrive Architect. However, you know, in a lot of things I say on my channel, like you have to take the whole into a picture and not just individual components. Uh, for example, I just changed all, all the fonts in one click. I'm happy with that. Uh, when it comes down to changing the colors, yeah, you're going to go through element by element. It's just part of the game. Okay. So let's go ahead and save those styles and that'll work for me. Like you can go on and build the entire page, but this will work for the sake of this demonstration. What I'm going to do next is pretty cool. So I want to create that dynamic website here. And to do that, I want to go into the sites area on the left hand side and I'll click there. And now you have the option to export or import from your site. So here is what this means. You remember when we made our style Roboto as our main font, I can export that. And if there's crazy fonts anywhere else, it can instantly take root with the rest of the website and kind of fall in line with styling. So we'll export that. We want to keep that style. Um, custom styles, sure, keep all that. Things like tracking codes. If you put in Google Analytics code onto one page, but you forget to do it for the rest of the pages, guess what? It's probably gonna happen. So the better thing to do is set your codes up once onto one of your pages and then export that to the rest of the site, of the rest of the pages within your website. That way it's done once you export it and it's kept in sync. And I'll show you how that works in a second. In this example, we didn't do that, but you get the idea our header menu and our footer and our exit intent pop-up. Those were things we created as part of this quick tutorial and we wanted it to become a global aspect so we can do that. Now into export to other pages, we're gonna say apply to all pages in the site. When we have more pages, this dropdown would make more sense. You could select the individual pages that you have. We can show you that in a second. I'll go ahead and apply this and it's gonna tell you what's gonna happen. If there's no header on the pages, this is going to put a header on the pages. So it's going to create that global look. I'll proceed. All right. And it says the exports in progress. It will be uploaded to the internet shortly. I love how they word that. All right. So we're done with our home page. Let's go ahead and create one more page. Let's publish this guy live. And I'll use one of my fun domains I bought on a whim. So we're going to link this up to a custom domain called loveyourfunnels.com slash home one. And I'll just save that. So let's copy it, go to it, and there you go. So here is the website we just built. Uh, it looks like, you know, it doesn't look like a website that was built in a funnel builder, in my opinion. Like it does look like it has the full home screen experience. Like the everything looks like it's a real website, like a WordPress website. I don't mean to say real website, like other sites aren't real. And here's our um, pop up. We didn't set up the opt in. Forgive me for that. All right, we're good here. Let's go ahead and create one more because that should drive home the point here and show you what happens with this site feature to help you make a better buying decision. I'll make a new page. And again, I'll use the blank canvas because I want to show that import feature in the site. So we'll call this an about page. And under category, let's select the same category. Doesn't matter. What matters is the website. So here I'm going to go to my site and I'm going to say red coaching site. I was intending on making it red. It didn't really happen. So please forgive me there as well. So I'll go to red coaching site. And now the option here makes way more sense. Do you want to import all the global elements from the site? Yes, I do. That's what's going to keep it part of that entire business uh, structure, that global structure. So I create the page. It loads up here and you can already see some work is happening, <laughs> right? Some stuff's going on here. And let's quickly uh, design this out. And then you can see kind of how the, the holistic look works. All right. So here, let's go to our about page and just kind of give an idea. This has a nice, I like that call to action or that hero section. So let's try to find something like that. I'll go to content instead and see if there's something here that'll work and a similar look. Let's go with this one. Uh, just to give us something you can see, they have got hundreds and hundreds of, of templates. I'll remove the laptop real quick. Okay. And that could, that could be kind of similar to what we saw on the other page. And let's get one more section here. Let's do a little three blurbs across the way. So I'll come to a section. I'm probably going to call that also a feature. And let's just look for a very simple three blurbs across. All right, cool. This will work. Drag this in here. Boom. You get the idea. We can keep going as much as we'd like to. But what's happened here 
is we've built a about page that's going to mirror the styling and save you a ton of time in the building process. Another big picture, another, another big benefit here is that not only is it saving you time, it's also helping you if you ever need to make changes to your site, which by the way you do. So for example, I just added the about page. I need a link to go back to my homepage, right? So I'm going to go and edit this menu, uh, edit this header, uh, here. And I'll click on the link here because this should normally go to my home page, right? So I'm going to go here and add a link and I'm going to select my site, my red coaching site, and it'll show me the two pages. You saw my dashboard earlier, right? I have hundreds of pages built on this platform, um, but because I'm, I'm linking this under a site, boom, example home, and I'll open it in the same tab. Done. So now my home page is there. I'm also going to change this text here from featured to about us. I should have capitalized that. Let's make it right about us. Boom. And now under link, I'm going to link this to the current page that we're on. Let's go to the coaching site and we'll take this to the about page and apply. Cool. Now this should keep it all in sync uh, right from here, but I'm just going to be extra cautious, extra safe. And I'll come to my sites area and now I'm going to export to site. I'm going to export out that header menu because we just made changes to a global item. I just want to double check that it's going to go out to everything. And here you can also see you have the option to export it out to all the pages in the website. You can imagine when you get like 10 pages, it's an important feature, or you can individually pick which pages it goes to. So here, let's say apply to all pages, apply. It's going to say the whole song and dance there, proceed. And the export has been completed or it's initiated, I guess. And so we'll go ahead and publish this page live. And here, let's go ahead and name it again. We'll come to the page link. I'll edit it because we have this custom domain set up. I'll set up you know, loveyourfunnels.com slash about check. Boom. So now let me return to my dashboard. And here we go. So we have our about page loaded. Uh, it looks good. Looks like we wanted it to look. And now if I click over here, this should link me back to my homepage, which it does, right? Very good. Very happy to hear that. And now the true test is, did the menu on this page also get updated to show um, the new changes? So let me just hit a refresh here. So here on the homepage, we can see that now the uh, menu item is linking to itself, to the homepage, and the about us text has been changed, and that will link us back to the about page. So there you go. That's working as we expected to. If it doesn't work immediately for you, it's likely just because it's like a caching thing. And that's a ba basically something that uh, tech companies do to make their website load faster. So it might just take a refresh or a minute or two for it to fully uh, make the changes across your whole website. But trust me, it works when you do it. Okay, so let's kind of take a step back here. So does that mean that Kartra is a website builder? Yes, yes, it does. If, if your needs are to simply have uh, enough of a web presence to look professional, to have a homepage, have an about page, have services, and maybe a portfolio page. Totally cool to do that. Kartra can absolutely handle you. And what's great about it is it'll also give you all the functionality you need to actually run the business behind the scenes. Things like your checkout process, things like your subscription management, things like your customer relationship manager, where you can actually keep your log and see who has questions at what time? Who has booked calendar appointments at what time? All those things can be handled inside Kartra. Does that make it the perfect platform for everyone? No, not necessarily. What can it not do? Well, the one thing that I truly believe is like the, the big thing that Kartra cannot do, and I don't think they should try to do, is it's not a blogging platform. So what that means is if you want to have a very dynamic website, if you want to be able to post every other day or... Um, get search engine optimized traffic from Google, where they find you from searching for best baby comb brushes for toddlers. Like if you want to be able to rank for those keywords, um, Kartra is not really going to be the place to do that organically. It's fantastic if you want to run social media traffic to it. If you have YouTube traffic and you want to send them to a landing page, boom, that's exactly what Kartra is for. So if you are considering getting a site builder like Wix and then using a funnel builder like Kartra or ClickFunnels or anything like that, I hope this video helps illustrate to you that you can probably achieve your goals simply using Kartra's new functionality, their site builder functionality, while keeping all the additional business building stuff that Kartra also gives you in your back pocket. 
Now, if some of this sounds pretty cool and you like this, I want to make you aware of a little bonus that I'm running right now for Kartra. If you go to the link that's in the description below, I'll also have something pop up right about here. You'll come to this page and you can read and listen to everything that I'm giving away if you decide to use my affiliate link, which is down below, thank you in advance, um, to sign up for Kartra. I'll also be there to support you every step of the way. It's a great platform. Look, if you are around my channel much at all, you know that I kind of tell it like it is. And in this case, for the vast majority of people, of business owners, they don't need the absolute creme de la creme of everything. What they need is peace of mind, of reliability, and of getting the job done. You know, done is the new perfect, right? Like nobody cares about perfect anymore. I've seen people who spend millions of dollars on ad spend, on consulting and all this crazy stuff and their landing page doesn't work and people will reply back to an ad saying hey your page doesn't work and the person does do they like crawl into a hole and die no at least not publicly maybe they do in private they say oh try again i just fixed it thanks for letting me know that's what matters today is being able to get up get going and move on and provide value doing what you do best so if that kind of resonates with you, if you've been stuck in a place I like to call tech heck, and you're looking for building a website and a business and a funnel and a membership and sell your services, take a look at Kartra. Um, you can get it right here on this page, incomemesh.com slash Kartra bonus, or you can go to the link that's in the description below. Hope this video was helpful for you. I hope it really kind of shines some light on some of the newer stuff that's coming out. 2020 is a brand new year. It's a pretty awesome time if you're doing anything regarding building your business online because there's tons of opportunity and if you can stay focused and if you can stay moving the needle forward and moving past some of the things that get people stuck at the starting gate and never get out of it then you can be absolutely successful i'm john from incomesh.com i hope you enjoyed this if we got a lot of value from it if you did subscribe to the channel hit the little ring the bell thing, do whatever that is, hit the like button, leave me a comment, do all that fun stuff, help get the word out there. I hope that you have an amazing and productive 2020, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.